This is the Mercedes AMG C63 S E Performance, and I'm going to go for a drive in it. This is actually a prototype, hence the silly stickers, but it's pretty much what you're going to get as the production car. I'm going to see how fast it feels, I'm going to see how well it handles, I'm going to see what it's like to drift and how quick it feels when you launch it. Let's do this. Buy, sell, car, wow. Okay, quick confession, I'm not actually going to be driving this car, it's going to be driven by Mercedes engineer Rene. Yeah, hi, welcome. Hi, welcome. I'm a little bit disappointed, mate. Why aren't I driving it? Because it is a, a very early stage development car of us and we want to keep something for the real press event later on. Okay, so basically eking out the content. <laughs> uh, I like your plan. <laughs> or is it that you just don't trust me? First things first, big news about this car, it's a plug-in hybrid, which means it's the first ever C63 that you can drive in electric power alone. So we're gonna start doing that, right? Yes. Least fun bit first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, go on. Actually, that pickup's pretty good, isn't it? Like for in town and stuff like that, that's, that's pretty punchy away from the line. It's cool and we, we were not flat out. Stop, 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 stop. Now do it flat out. Oh, oh you made the engine kick in there. <laughs> are you I'm, in the right mode? I've not been in the electric mode, sorry, oh, my fault. Do, do, are you sure you don't want me to drive? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You're doing uphill now as well? Come on, this is all going to <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Let's just uh, repeat that. Let's just repeat that, that didn't happen, that won't go in the edit. <laughs> it's definitely going in the edit. It's great to see what it's like in reverse, actually, Rene, thank you very much. Yeah, smooth ride, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay then, pulling away from a standstill, we're in town, we need to get ahead of the traffic in electric only mode, let's do this. That's really quite good, isn't it? That's cool, right? Yeah, because you've got like 200 horsepower from that electric motor that drives the rear wheels, but can send power to the front. It's really confusing, the whole system actually. So that's pretty much like, I don't want to say this, uh, Volkswagen ID4 or ID3, isn't it? No, we are able to, to put also the electric power to all four wheels. To all four wheels, which they don't in their 204 horsepower model. Well, I should have been saying Mercedes A-Class really, but I, I can't remember the power output of that, sorry. Okay, so we've just gone through security and we're now heading out onto your Imadingen. How do you say it? Yes, that's quite good. Imadingen so test track. Imadingen test track, yeah. It's a Mercedes only testing facility down to the Bodensee. Don't know if you know that. What was that noise? Um, oh, I've done this before on the EQXX drive. Yeah, exactly. You're constantly monitored, aren't you, when you're driving yeah, on your test exactly, track yeah. to make sure that you don't break any of the rules. Right, so what are we going to do first then, Rene? Um, we are now heading to the mountain road. Okay. That will give you a short overview about the drive modes. We are starting in the electric mode right now. Keep an eye on the noises in the car right now. Because if you're familiar with the C63 older gens, you know how noisy that was in the interior. Yeah, even when you're just like cruising around, you could have even some fun with it. You turn the exhaust on loud and you could just enjoy the sound, even on low throttle, of that. V8, especially in the first gen one where you had the 6.2 litre mm -hmm. Natch Aspirate V8. <laughs> Gotta say, I like the pickup in electric only mode. The sound's not very AMG right now, to tell you the truth. So right there now. is no sound, and this is uh, yeah, what's new for us. But can we have some electric sound like you do in the like, like to, EQE? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And is it. It's the same noise that you use in the. <laughs> She just Sorry. bloody interrupted me. But anyway, it's the same noise that you have in the EQE and EQS AMG. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it, if, it, sounds if it similar. is the same the sound. I'm not gonna lie, it's not as good as a V8, is it? So, but it's a new world now, right now. So basically what you're saying to me is, yes, Matthew, I totally agree with you, but unfortunately, these, so, are, the, the, so these yeah, are the rules so, that we're having to play to now because so, of emissions. That, so you're, um, <laughs> you're going to take my words and, and swap them around. Yeah, that's also a good game. <laughs> and it's doubly unfair because I'm doing it in my language. If, you could say anything you want about me in German, I have no idea. In fact, say in German what your genuine thoughts so far of this video and having to drive me around. Go and say it now in German. In German? Yeah, just say in German. You, so you can say what exactly what you like, I'll never know. Go on. Um, ich mag sehr gerne gerade mit, mit Matt unterwegs zu sein im neuen C63. 
ein sehr angenehmer Gesprächspartner, sehr wortgewandt, aber ich glaube, man muss auch etwas aufpassen, welche Antwort man ihm gibt. Okay, so I know that you Germans like to use too many words. Were you basically yeah. saying Mats a Mats a Exactly. How very rude. <laughs> Anyway, so we're on the mountain course now. So now we are pushing the electric engine up the hill. That is really good, isn't it? And it's it's quite okay, yeah. You don't miss anything when just going on normal road. No, you do. You miss the exhaust sound. I'm sorry, you do. So this is your topic with that car, right? Well, yeah. Obviously, when you're just driving around town, you cannot really enjoy your performance car. But one element that you could always enjoy was the noise. Now, I lived in London, and there's a lot of people who drive around in supercars and performance cars, like C63s. And one of the things that they really enjoyed was the noise. So they're not going to have that anymore. It's fact. Let's just try to put on the engine and get into Sport Plus mode when, when going on the racetrack. Okay. Then we can talk about the noises in the interior right now. Actually, do you know what? If this was my car, a lot of the time I would be driving it in electric power alone. Yeah, so my argument not? maybe about that engine is probably null and void. Yeah. It's not, but you know, it's not going to be such a big issue. I'm going to give you a little warning. I'm not a fan of plug-in hybrids. I'm not a big fan of the AMG GT 63S E Performance, the four-door one. Yeah. I prefer the normal car. Okay. I thought it was a bit too heavy. I didn't find the electrical system worked so well with the engine. Sometimes there's a bit of hesitation when I drove it, and I'd have just gone for the V8, personally. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see what I think about the feel of this car. However, the S-Class, I love the plug-in hybrid S-Class. I'm not only a fan of plug-in hybrids, but driving an S-Class around on electric power alone and then having that engine as backup when you want to do long journeys, yeah. I think it's brilliant. So we are now going on the mountain road and I can show you the regen braking and the three steps we are able to hand over to our customers. So we are able to, to put the car into three regen braking modes. We are now in the lowest one, so the car feels like very freely rolling and we are just regenerating a little bit we are now able to switch it to the second step. So you had your foot off the accelerator there? Yeah, the foot is off the accelerator. So that's pretty much like you're just rolling in a manual car with the clutch depressed, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas now this is like I'm a manual car, but and I've got the clutch. a little bit braking. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit of braking, exactly. yeah. And we are also allowed to put it in, yeah, let's call it a one pedal drive. Okay. Where you really have the braking force. Yeah. So let's see, keep your foot off the brake and yeah. don't touch the accelerator. Will it come to a complete stop? No. It's not proper one pedal drive then, because if you need to stop, you've got to hit a pedal, another but pedal. You need to give the signal to really stop. Yeah, I prefer full on one pedal drive. Some manufacturers do it, some don't. I prefer it that it does completely stop the car. You know, it hasn't quite finalized production. Maybe that's a, a fourth step you need to add to your little menu there, FYI. To just yeah, get I, the car to the, a full yeah, stop. Yeah, I think so. I think you need to do a bit more development. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, you keep that, you note that down. <laughs> Shall I ask you now what you think about doing a video with Matt Watson? <laughs> no, that's okay. I think I did. I, I also answered this question. Okay, all right. <laughs> so then let's just oh, yeah. give it a proper ride in the Sport Plus mode now. Okay, so you've gone from like comfort into Sport Plus. So yeah. this is the engine's always on, yeah? Exactly. The engine is always running. Uh, we are now going into sporty mode. Well, I've been switching the ESP full off to just show you what's our new world in terms of performance. Just so you know, two litre turbocharged petrol engine at the front, 204 horsepower electromotor at the back, combined 680 horsepower and 1,020 newton meters of torque, which is crazy. In that corner you will feel why we put a rear axle steering into it. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> That's a warning from the monitoring system telling him it's speeding. <laughs> so we were pushing it out of the corner, flat out, and the car wasn't doing anything in terms of understeering. No, he wasn't understeering, wasn't really yeah. oversteering either. He just like kind of hooked up and just went round. It really pushes you back in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> you set her off again. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You're only doing your job. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, a really new thing for us. Whoa. So you, I think you're quite familiar with the old C-Class. Yeah. And if you go to flat that car out, you know what's, what would have been happening. We are now putting it into the race mode. So race, what's, what's the difference now with race? The car is getting more agile. Um, we are giving the full, the full. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we are giving the full system torque and, and power output and, and giving it to our to the wheels. So, because I'm not driving it, yeah. I can't sense the weight of it. So I wouldn't know that this is loads heavier than the previous C63. I mean, it weighs in a, what, 2.1 tons, whereas that car was like 1.8 or 1.7? What was that car? It may even have been less, 1.6 something. No, I think it was something around that. Numbers. Okay, I know this is about 300 kilos heavier, but the way you were driving it then, you wouldn't know. Might feel different from behind the wheel, but from the passenger seat, don't know. We call it the game changer for AMG because it's the first time we put an all-wheel drive system into it. Wait, We're sorry. It's the first time you've got rear wheel steering in a C63. Exactly. Yeah. First time you've got all-wheel drive, all -wheel drive. in a C63. Yes. First time you've had a hybrid system. Yes. A proper hybrid system. I know what's happened with this car. Basically, because of CO2 regulations, you know you've had to do a hybrid. And when you look at the specs of it, it's like someone at the top of Mercedes, AMG, has just gone, okay guys, this is a bit of a show, we've got to lose our V8, so we're just gonna go absolutely balls out and just do everything we can, just whatever we need to make it fast. Let's just blow the last car out of the water so everyone forgets about the fact that it doesn't have a V8. That's what's happened, isn't it? Is it? So you look at the specs, yeah. that you are going from, what is it, 510 horsepower to 680? Yeah. Never before has that been that increase. No. You know, you're going from, what, what was the torque? Step torque, even did. more, like the, over a thousand yeah. newton meters of torque. You know, just whatever, just chuck it at the car. Make them forget the V8. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the interesting things about this car is obviously you've got a electronically controlled differential on the rear axle. The way it can send 100% of the torque to the front yeah. and torque from the electric motor can go from the back to the front as well. Yes. So it'd be interesting to see what this car feels like if you want to have a play around with it dynamically, yes. also known as drifting it. So Rene, um, can you find somewhere to drift it, please? Yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And then we've got to do the obvious thing as well. We need to see how quick it feels when you launch it. Because not 60 time, it's quicker than before, isn't it? Yeah, way, way quicker. We are now doing the zero to 100 in 3.4 seconds. And before, what was it, like 4.1? Yeah, something above the four seconds. No, you are helped by the fact that it's four wheel drive, right? So that does help with that launch time. Exactly. Right then, Rene, you're now gonna launch the car, aren't you? Yes. I want you to keep it pinned for as long as you possibly can, okay? Okay. So like I right know. to the last minute then, can you do a full emergency brake? Like full on hardcore braking. Yeah. Okay, like to, to a complete stop, yeah? yeah? Do it. Okay, so that was a little bit more um, short than I thought. Can we do it again, but go faster? Like 100 kilometers an hour, or was that 100? No. Okay, cool. And you know we're not able to do that. Aren't you? No. Oh, why not? We have to keep some little secrets okay. for the press release. Do that again, the same that you just did, and I'll be aware that you're not going to do it all the way to 100, because I didn't know where I was in my seat. It was all confusing, and this is not an excuse just to experience it again, I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Go on. Oh, brakes are strong, aren't they? <laughs> hooks up like no C63 has ever done before because of the four-wheel drive and the instant response from the electric motor. So yeah, it takes off all right. And I noticed a weird like noise. That's one of the electric noises. I'm not sure about that noise. The exhaust noise isn't too bad. I mean, I don't mind the sound of the A45S. I used to have one. It's nuts. <laughs> I thought it sounded pretty good and this sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound as good as the V8. I actually came out of a G63 to the A45S. Oh, that's a and when they, when they, I know, I was going the wrong way down the alphabet, yeah. you know, I was going from G to A, which is not right. Anyway, but I wasn't disappointed. Well, after I drove it, here we go. So we're on the handling circuit now. <laughs> oh, this will be interesting, this hairpin. See how you can get the power down, yes. Oh, I feel it just drifting slightly. Now, those high speed sections when you're changing direction, I can feel the weight a little bit. There's no disguise in it, you know, it's weight. You're having to change the direction with all this momentum and inertia. But blimey, the weight grips. I pity the tires. Oh, <laughs> 
but it is good, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is with you driving it. So we are starting now with the Sport Plus mode, but you can feel the traction, you can feel yeah. the stability of the car. We are running in a full ESP off mode. Oh, really? And, and the car is never going to oh. to overwhelm you with, with, any, with anything. I've got to say, you know, uh, 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 it's... <laughs> It is impressive! <laughs> oh, just a bit there. Oh! I can hear that, like the back kind of it hopping ever so slightly. It's almost like he's understeering at the rear there and he was crabbing a bit. What you're feeling is that the wheels are just looking for traction. Yeah. And all, the, all of our systems are working together to just look where we can find it. I've got to say, I'm really looking forward to driving this thing. <laughs> oh, it's quick. Now, have a closer look to the ABS braking. We are deeply into the ABS yeah. and you can't feel the wheels locking up. I didn't know that ABS was engaged in any way, shape or form yeah. then. And that's a new sensitivity of, uh, of all the, the systems working together in that car. Let's get back to a more, let's say, normal mode whoa, whoa, right whoa, now. Whoa, 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 are we going to drift it? You, you want to drift yeah, it? Yeah, of course. I'm, well, yeah, I want it, but I'm not allowed to, so I want you to. So you know, you, you said you had an ESP off, yeah. but it wasn't sliding. And one of the things that people like about the current C63 is that it's dead easy to slide. Is it like in the A45? Yeah. Full both pedals. Yeah. Pedal up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 My camera just dropped. Obviously, we're going to do the hairpin, yeah? If you like to. This is where Rene bins the car. Rene was actually involved in setting the car up, so he um, he should know how to drift if anyone does. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't have probably done it there, but <laughs> why not? Here we go, this is the place. Oh, I thought you lost it, yes! <laughs> you haven't spun if you don't leave the track. Okay, I'm sorry about that. No, it's. It, I'm glad, do you know what? It happens to everyone, right? Not just people like me but also the skilled professionals who develop the car like Rene he's only human shame on me <laughs> but even though you lost it it didn't go all snappy no and that's one focus in the development we need to have a car which has such a lot amount of power uh -huh. output to a customer we don't know so the car has to be predictive in every situation do you want to have another go at that see if you can do it properly? Yeah, 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 let's try it. <laughs> Maybe all the other development guys will uh, just uh, put a shame on they you. Are, honestly, you are having the absolute <laughs> piss ripped out of you for that. <laughs> but it is true, everyone spins, don't they? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> ah, there you go, you see. That's okay. <laughs> let's just switch over to another thing uh, we are now having in the car. Don't you want to do that corner, the good corner that you failed on? Again? That yeah, corner. that corner, yeah. I think it's like getting back on the horse that kicked you off. You've got to conquer that corner again, otherwise it, yeah. you know, it'll be like a dog for you <laughs> for every drive. Here we go. Can Rene do it? Yeah, he's got it, got it, he's got it. No, oh, it's on the steering. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Sweet there. Oh, yes. Nicely done. <laughs> See, I told you, you have to get back on the horse. Yeah. Yeah, because that one was a little bit sketchy until the end, which you totally styled out. But next time, the I'm next journalist. Sure. But you nailed, nailed it. it. And the next journalist you have in, you're just going to do the <laughs> biggest drift round there, like you're in Fast and yeah, Furious Tokyo Drift. But it's for sure that I would spin it when you were in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have said those bad things about me in German. Okay, so now let's move on to the last thing we should have an eye on the track right now. Okay. We have a boost mode right in the car. You don't know that from the GT63 SE performance um, yeah. you've been driven. Uh, that's something new for the hybrid cars we have. We've taken the electric power output a little challenge the game of energy management in the car. They all have to focus um, to, to handle their energies. They have to handle their tires, they have to handle their petrol and stuff like that. And also, as long as you put the... Um, <laughs> we have to do that again. No, 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 I totally understand. I have no, honestly, I'm sorry, Reno, I'm not going to take the piss, but I have no idea what you're saying. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I, I, so I, I feel a bit bad that. saying that because I 
have no idea how to speak German and you're communicating in my language, so I yeah. don't mean to be like uh, rude to you. Is it correct that the motor doesn't give its full 204 horsepower unless you tell it to? So when you're in normal driving mode, you've not got full 204 horsepower from that electric motor unless you put it into boost mode. Is that correct? No. So again... <laughs> that that backfired on me, didn't it? <laughs> we put a boost mode in, uh, into the car to, to just handle the, the energy management. Yeah. So if you're going to do more than, I don't know, a few laps on a, on a track, you just need to focus on your energy. You want to squeeze out of the car when going fast. And what we are doing in the boost mode is we reduce the power output you have on your acceleration pedal and just give that over to you by just putting the kick down button. So now this is a 50 and now you're getting the full boost when putting the kick down button. So the way boost mode works is that it actually limits the total power output of the system unless you absolutely need it and that means that when you're going on a twisty road or on a track and you need to accelerate out of a corner hard where you definitely need the help of all the power that electric motor can give you you will get it that was really good way better than i did yeah don't ask me to engineer a car though because it'd be a piece of <laughs> <laughs> which this isn't this seems awesome so far okay so we're having to share this event with other journalists and we've been out a little bit too long not trying to drift again but more to try and explain boost mode so we're going to go back and hopefully not get told off by the head of mgpr and get attacked by other journalists which could happen and her as well of course she's always having a go isn't she? sure, yeah. she's always butting in anyway i hope you'll enjoy the video if you did give it a like let me know what you think about this car, the C63, becoming a hybrid in the comments below. Okay, we've got a pink comment, you can vote on that. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can see how much your car is really worth. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car. You don't have to sell to them, but if you do, they'll just take your car away and put the money straight into your account. It's easy and free. Thanks for watching.